Hi everyone, Lewis here, and I thought I'd bring some recent news related to Pokemon Go. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for alerts of when I upload new content to the channel, especially those with disabilities similar to mine. I do apologize for the lack of a video last week. It was mainly because there was hardly any news in the news section of Pokemon Go for me to use as material to work with, but I'm back with a new video and I'm here to discuss a lot that Niantic has talked about this week, starting with we are getting another Eevee Community Day for the first time in three years, and like the last one, it will be two days, and Eevee will learn the following moves if you evolve it either into a Vaporeon, it will learn the move Scold. If it evolves into a Jolteon, it will learn Zap Cannon. If it evolves into a Flareon, it gets Superpower. If it evolves into a Espeon, it will get Shadow Ball. For Umbreon, it will learn Psychic. Leafeon will learn the move Bullet Seed. For Glaceon, you'll learn the move Water Pulse. And Sylveon, Psy Shock. And of course, any Eevee that are caught or hatched during this event will have the move Last Resort, which was the move that you got whenever you evolved Eevee into one of the evolutions during the previous community day. And of course, when evolving Eevee into Sylveon instead of 70 hearts, it'll only require 7 hearts. So if you have any Poffins, be sure to save them because you're going to need them if you're going to evolve Eevee into a Sylveon for for this community day and of course shiny Eevee both male and female will definitely be back for this as well and of course it will be Saturday August 14th and Sunday August 15th from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. local time there will also be a special research event associated with this when you buy the story for the ticket to this event for a dollar or equal currency depending on what part of the world you're in. In other Pokemon news, the Ultra Unlock bonuses start by the time this video is released, July 23rd, and will end August 3rd. And of course, Dialga will be appearing in 5 star raids as a raid boss, and will be shiny if you are lucky. Unknown you, Craniados, Shieldon, will also be getting their shiny forms as well for this event. While the following event, part two, will have Palkia as the raid boss and it will get its shiny form during this event. And of course, Shiny Heracross will also be making its debut and of course, Heracross will be appearing in three star raids for this event. Especially if you didn't travel to Mexico like I did or other parts of the world where Heracross spawns. Here's your chance to finally catch Heracross and add it to your collection as well as your Pokédex. Also announced is the release of Pokémon Unite which is now available for the Nintendo Switch. And of course, there are free goodies that you get when you download the game and you set up an account. And of course, my pal Jono Plays made a video on how to re redeem 
your reward and get it for free. One more thing. I will definitely, hopefully, do my second Merman Adventure video about me swimming with the pod, the Pennsylvania Mermaid Pod, but it's been delayed due to things in life that are beyond my control. And hopefully I'll be going scuba diving back up at Dutch Springs where I will do a proper video, a much better video than the one I did last year when I went up to Dutch Springs. And of course, I will also be making the video about the second EV Community Day when it comes around. Thanks for watching, everyone. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Twitch. And remember, it's time for adventure. Also, during these times when heading out, wear a mask only when you're told to. Wash your hands, carry hand sanitizer with you, get vaccinated. Lastly, stay safe, stay healthy, and together we are finally getting through these dark times, but we're still not out of the woods just yet.